CPAP machines like these are used to treat obstructive sleep apnea. If you use one regularly, you'll know how important it is to keep all of the pieces in your system clean. It's important that you clean your CPAP masks, hoses, and humidifiers on a daily basis to prevent the buildup of microbes, mold, dust, and debris. And hey, the process for cleaning CPAP equipment is fairly quick. We'll run you through the cleaning materials you'll need and each step of the cleaning process. Okay, so first you'll need to disassemble your CPAP machine before cleaning it. Make sure the device isn't plugged into a wall outlet. If your machine has an integrated battery, be sure to remove that as well. To clean your CPAP machine, you'll need the following. Make sure you have a mild soap, and especially one that's unscented and isn't made for moisturizing. Warm drinking water, a container for soaking your hose, such as a tub or large bucket, a clean, smooth towel, and if your machine has a humidifier, you'll also need white vinegar. Now you'll notice that what we're using to clean our machine is pretty no frills. You're gonna see a lot of other CPAP cleaning materials on the market that are a bit, shall we say, more complicated. For instance, you might see some CPAP cleaning machines that use ozone or ultraviolet light to sanitize CPAP equipment. These sound good in theory, but the FDA warns against using these cleaning devices due to potential health and safety risks. For instance, ozone releases gases that have been linked to respiratory infections, and UV light has been linked to burns, eye damage, and skin cancer. In fact, some brands have recalled the CPAP cleaners over safety concerns. Despite these recalls and concerns, these products are still available for purchase. But in our view, just using soap and warm water is incredibly effective. Keep it simple. All right, once you've disassembled the pieces, here's how to clean the CPAP tank. Start by rinsing with mild soap and warm water. Again, make sure the soap is unscented and not too harsh, otherwise it can damage or contaminate the tank. Once you're done cleaning the humidifier, rinse the entire tank with cool drinking water. Place the tank on a clean, smooth towel to air dry. And make sure the tank is not exposed to direct sunlight while it's drying. Once a week, give your tank a deeper clean by using a one-to-one -one solution of warm water and white vinegar. Fill the tank with the solution, then leave it to soak for about 15 minutes. Pour out the solution and allow the tank to air dry on a clean towel. The next step in this process is to clean the air hose and tubing that connect your CPAP machine and mask. And when you do this, it's important to sanitize the exterior and the interior. This is why you should fully submerge these components in a clean tub or bucket with a mix of warm drinking water and mild soap. So soak these for a few minutes, removing the hose and tubing from the tub and rinse it inside and out. Make sure to rinse until all the soap suds and residues are gone and then place the hose and tubing on a clean, smooth towel for air drying. As with the humidifier tank, make sure the hose and tubing do not air dry in direct sunlight. One important note to highlight here, if your air hose is heated, it probably contains some electrical components. And in that case, it's going to require more intensive cleaning. We recommend checking the product manual for any special cleaning and care instructions. Once you've washed your tank and your hose, now we're on to cleaning the mask. To start this process, you'll need to disassemble the mask completely. Separate the headgear, frame, and cushions. Clean each part of your mask with the same mixture of warm water and mild soap. Pay special attention to the cushions and headgear and scrub those. These are two areas that come into contact with your skin and hair, and they tend to build up oil. This oil can attract microbes and cause the headgear and cushions to deteriorate more quickly. So make sure to remove any traces of oil from those parts. Rinse all the soap off of the cushions, headgear, and frame, and then set them on a clean towel to air dry. Make sure you don't reassemble the mask until each piece is completely dry. Now keep in mind, the cushion size depends on which type of mask you use. For example, if you use a nasal or nasal pillow mask, the cushions are relatively small and they're not going to require too much time to clean. If you use a full face mask, cleaning the cushions is more time consuming. Okay, one final note here. Once you have everything fully cleaned, don't forget to check your CPAP machine's filter. These should be replaced every two weeks, but if your machine has a reusable filter, make sure you wash it every two weeks with warm soapy water. And then make sure you fully replace it every three months. Keeping your filter clean is really, really important for your respiratory health and for maintaining a functional machine. Cleaning your CPAP machine ensures you're breathing the cleanest possible air each night. For more information on how to clean your machine, head over to sleepfoundation.org. And if you'd like to learn about some different masks for your CPAP machine, check out our video on that right here. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and sweet dreams, everyone.